back again. Another carp adventure. Big goldfish, beautiful mirrors, and just a little update on what I've been up to. been a bit busy with work recently so it sort of slashed my time on the bank quite a bit but just been trying to catch up with stuff you know at home in the meantime I have been checking out some new venues doing a little bit of exploring you know sitting on Google Maps finding new waters talking to my friends and yes we got some wicked venues especially for Forbidden Roots 4 that is if we get to make it you know because not gonna say much about it now but we might be getting a bit of a slap on the wrist. The river season's almost upon us. I've left it uh, really late this year to even find a spot, find a stretch, even find a river. You know, I have been useless, absolutely useless, but I managed to get my act together in the last week and a half, get down there, find a little spot, and start introducing a bit of bait. But I'm gonna do a river video again this year, so I won't say too much, and we'll leave it till then. CC Moore sent me a bundle of bait, ready for the summer to prep some spots on the river and get some spots going on the lake. So cheers guys, thanks for that. I'm even going to start making my own pop-ups this next few weeks. There's always something that I wanted to do. I wanted a really stinky fishy bait which has got a fleck of colour to it, you know. So I'm going to take some time out and do a little bit of rolling. Just literally only hook baits but we'll let you know how they get on. Let's get back to it and talk about what I've been up to since the last video. I've jumped back on my winter ticket water um, because there were still things that, uh, you know, I really needed to catch fish out of there because since I had all those fish um, back in October, I struggled. I really struggled through the winter. I just, whatever I could done, I just could not get a bite. Um, but as soon as we got that bit of sun in the spring, you know, and my angling, this is where my angling comes out. I'm a good good surface angler and I'm good at uh, picking out where the fish are, you know, and hunting them down. So, the first bit of sun, and this is what we had. It's only taken me 25 nights, 25 nights of blanking, and I finally got a fish in this heck. Can't believe it. I'm absolutely buzzed. It's a koi, but. It's a good koi, and if there was one koi that I wanted to catch in this lake, it was this one, so let's get her out. We finally, uh, <laughs> finally finished all of this cup. Side there, gave me a right run around as well, but it's a good one. And, uh, now I'm going to go out and catch a koi. See the other side to the koi. This one's, this one's called Tiger.
Seriously, my fishing comes alive in the summer. That's my forte, bit of stalking. Now I sit it out through all these nights through the winter and no rewards and like say, come in the summer, come in the spring. Be the first one on them on the surface. Quick action. Let's get back. A couple of days had passed, the sun was still up and I just finished work and I got straight back to the lake, you know, because I thought that there was going to be another chance of a fish and how right I was. Um, I managed to find a few of them all grouped up in the corner of the lake. Um, again, caught off the surface on a little mixer and yes, it was a really old one. There's not many mirrors in this lake, so I'm pretty chuffed to have caught, caught one and this one was a really old one. I think it's one of the originals in there. Um, so yeah, check it out. While she's nice and calm, the result of another hour's surface fishing, you think, sat it out all through the winter, 25 nights, and within two hours in the last two days I've got two fish in the bank, so. <laughs> I love it. Love surface fishing. Nice, let's get a Batman. Nice, let's get a Oh yeah! You know me, I'm getting greedy at this point. I'm going to keep getting down there as much as I can. And I have managed to catch another one of the lake's gems. I couldn't believe it. This fish isn't massive and by anyone's standard it's not it's not a huge fish but look at it. Just look at it, you'll understand. Peak condition man, look at that. It's my second mirror out went second mirror out Kingy as well. This lovely scaly one. I feel privileged. <laughs> Oh, it's the other side of this absolute banger, look at it. Like I say, second mirror out of uh, Kingfisher. And I've been looking at pictures of this one for quite a while. Only ever seen one pic and <laughs> now she's in mine, so proper chuff for this one. Let's get the old girl back. And that's not all what I've been up to recently. I've been checking out a few different venues, exploring, but like I said, we're gonna go a bit more into depth about that on another video. And we're gonna talk about this, why I do it and what it means to me and why Forbidden Roots is something that I want to carry on and continue to grow the channel. So please subscribe, like and comment below. And I've got a little giveaway this week, only something really silly. Um, I've been working on a, you know, just a few little merchandise ideas, you know, something really stupid, but there's only one Forbidden Roots mug, and who wants it? Make sure you check my Instagram page out, Forbidden Roots, make sure you like it, and also please hit that subscribe button and comment below that you've done it, and I'll pick a winner on the next video. Cheers, thanks for watching, we're out.